All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Raul Cepeda Jr. On behalf of Barcodes Group in Honeywell, I'd like to thank you for attending our webinar today on how to eliminate chargebacks with barcode verification. We know your time is precious and we hope you gain some valuable insights today into the solution that we'll be covering. We do have a Q&A feature available on this webinar, so please feel free to send us any questions and we'll address them towards the end as time allows. At this point, I'd like to turn it over to Casey Moore, Honeywell's customer marketing manager. Casey? Hi, thanks, every, thanks everyone, thanks Raul. And welcome to our webinar around our um, PX940 uh, verification uh, printer. And with that, you can go ahead and go to the next slide. So here's a look at our agenda for today. We'll be going through some market trends and challenges. We'll go through um, what our hidden chargebacks, our product overview with the P940. Uh, we'll also be going through our verification technology um, with one of our leading solutions architects, Hogan. And then we'll take you through a competitive analysis and we'll round it out um, with a Q&A. Next slide, please. So what are hidden what are hidden chargebacks? So you may or may not be familiar um, with this term, but a chargeback happens when you are not compliant, um, when a shipment comes in that's not compliant and actually cannot be scanned um, by an overhead barcode reader. So what happens um, when this when a shipment comes in and it can't be scanned is it then requires the um, receiving those in the receiving end um, to stop the workflow and manually in some cases manually scan the barcode or if the barcode is unable to be scanned at all they'll end up returning the shipment and so the un the the labels that are unable to be read are the biggest reasons for the char chargeback. You can also see chargebacks come for early or late delivery. Um, if there's a pricing area, error or also um, shortage in the product that's actually shipped. And so the chargebacks are sometimes referred to in the industry as hidden chargebacks because they normally just tack them on to the end of the um, invoice. And the chargebacks are normally based off of the size of the total invoice. And with that, we'll go to the next slide, please. So here's the average or estimated um, chargeback by vertical. So again, it will vary by industry. Um, naturally, with industries such as healthcare, where um, lives are on the line, it's very, very high compliance industries, um, the chargeback fees will be higher. Um, whereas in the retail industry and sometimes in warehouse and DC and environments, um, they can be a little bit lower. But it really does vary by industry, but it also does vary by the total size um, of that invoice. So the larger the invoice in the shipment, the larger the hidden chargeback Will, fee will be, and that's just due to the amount of time it will take to um, to manually go through the shipment there because the barcodes are unable to be scanned and there's interruptions within the productivity and workflow. Next slide, please. And so the chargeback fees can cost anywhere between 15 to 20 percent um, of the of the total invoice. And so, for example, um, if you are shipping um, like for a medical medical device um, manufacturer, if you're shipping those devices um, and you have a shipment totaling uh, anywhere from 100 to $200,000 um, and you, they receive the shipment and they're unable to identify the what's inside of the shipment due to the there's an error with the barcode, um, then that will automatically result, result in a chargeback fee and that will be automatically deducted um, from the invoice that you receive. Next slide, please. So what is your solution to avoiding the, the hidden chargeback fees and um, the, the break in the workflow and productivity? The solution is our new Honeywell PX940 with an integrated ver label ver verifier. And so our PX940 is actually available in two different options. So we do have it without the verification option, but the best option for the, your solution um, to avoiding the hidden chargeback fees would actually be our PX940V, which includes our verification technology. And here's a picture um, of the printer. You'll see 
the window on the side there, so you're able to see the media. You'll see the, the touch screen there for um, PC, so for uh, easy setup and um, configuration, no need to connect it um, to a PC there. We have the smart, uh, smart print capabilities with the PX940. Next slide, please. And so here's a little bit more around our PX940. So as I mentioned, we have it available in two separate options, so the PX940A and the PX940B. It supports all of our major print languages, so IPL, DPL, um, fingerprint as well. And it goes, um, it comes in, in uh, up to 600 DPI and 14 inches per second. So this is an industrial size printer. And so it can print the, um, 10,000 labels in an eight hour shift. So this is perfect for high performing work environments, especially um, warehouse DC solutions, um, any manufacturing uh, solutions, any manufacturing workflows as well. So we have a few of our target verticals there on the right hand side. We have our automotive parts suppliers, uh, medical device manufacturers, uh, shipping in DC, transportation and log logistics, pharmaceutical and e-commerce and retail. Um, with the verifier option, so with our PX940B, uh, we're estimating that you can have an average cost savings of anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand dollars, and that um, is really based on the size of those potential uh, hidden chargeback fees that, that you can receive. Because when you have the PX940B, you have the option um, every every label that is printed is verified and you know that it passed the quality testing. And so you will eliminate the risk of having any of those hidden chargeback, um, chargeback fees. We also have an extremely uh, precise printing with the PX940. So this is perfect for small labels. Um, for example, in the, with the auto part supplier or like a man, uh, medical device manufacturing, um, we have a, a really high registration there. And so we're able to print high quality labels and barcodes um, on even your smallest uh, print jobs. And then as I mentioned previously, the PX940 also has smart print capability. So right out of the box, you're able to um, plug your printer into the um, into into an outlet, turn it on. You'll get in the box. You'll get a ver uh, a calibration card that will help you calibrate the verifier. Once you configure it on the screen, calibrate the verifier. You're immediately ready to start that that print job. Uh, there. So very easy setup, no PC required, no external um, ver verifier required either. Next slide, please. So here are really four main reasons why you should purchase uh, the PX940. So first and foremost, the integrated label label verification technology. So this is error, this is a guarantee for error-free printing. So this is your solution and answer to avoiding those fines and hidden chargeback fees, as well as lawsuits and compliance areas. Compliance areas. Um, we also, it is compatible with operational intelligence, which is our predictive analytics software. The precision printing, so perfect for your small labels. You can still do um, the barcodes on the smallest label and make sure that there are quality barcodes. Um, if you think about in the, the healthcare industry, um, the any of the medicine bottles or medicine vials, um, you can put the, the small labels that are needed for that can be printed on the PX940. And in the healthcare, um, there are a lot of compliance, uh, there are a lot of compliance requirements. And so the PX940 will be perfect for that because you can make sure that you can avoid any of those chargeback fees. Um, and then lastly, it enables to support many of our print languages. So that makes it um, an easy uh, install for uh, to replace our uh, Zebra and other competitors, um, but also it makes it a competitive product for any in install base. And so the PX940 really offers a wide range of solutions um, to one, increase your productivity in any workflow with that um, 10,000 labels and eight hour shift. So this is perfect for the um, really heavy print jobs that you have, but also adding that extra feature of the integrated verifier. What that does um, is just, again, helps you save money and then also um, ensuring that each of the labels that's printed is, is high quality. Next slide, please. 
So a little more around our operational intelligence uh, software and why this is a value add for, for you. And so the PX940 is compatible with our, offer, our operational intelligence software. And what this is, it's a predictive analytics software um, that provides you with the um, with the information around the analytics around the print jobs that your printer is doing. Also, it provides information around your printer health and maintenance. So this proactive um, data allows for your printer to have a longer um, a longer life cycle and really helps you with managing all of your 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 entire printer uh, fleet. It also manages usage behaviors um, as well as providing those pr predictive analytics. Um, to ensure that you're, you have a lower cost of ownership. Next slide, please. And with that, I'll pass it over to our solutions architect, um, Hogan, who is a solutions architect on the Honeywell team and also um, a lead, one of our lead print specialists. Hogan? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Casey. So yeah, so my name is Hogan and I'm a uh, printer uh, SA at, at Honeywell. And the first thing that may come to mind if you're looking at uh, scanning a barcode is, well, we all know that we can buy scanners today that read poor print quality. So why do we even need to worry about the print quality if the scanners can already read those? And the reason is, a few reasons behind that. First of all, not all scanners are built the same. So just because, let's say, your scanner that you have as a supplier, might scan a given barcode, it doesn't necessarily mean that the customer's scanner will be able to scan a poorly printed barcode. The other one is that uh, you have different case use cases for scanners. So for, as, for instance, you might be in one situation where you have a scanner that's for low volume and you're scanning piece by piece as they come in and you have the ability to rescan and so forth. Another use case might be a conveyor belt where you don't have the ability to rescan a barcode that doesn't scan well. And there you get a scan failure. And those will require a higher print quality grade than scanning a barcode manually. So if you do need a higher print quality grade for those, you'll also need a way to measure them. And then we have a third reason. We covered that some scanners can be set to scan poorly printed barcodes. But the truth remains that the scanner can only see what's on the paper. So if you're scanning a barcode that has some defects on it, perhaps some black spots where you should be a white space, then that can be seen as a different barcode character if you have uh, white spaces and black areas and so forth. The most serious case that I can recall is with a medical supplier running blood vials who came to me and said, Hoken, this barcode scanned incorrectly. A J came out as opposed to a digit as a for instance. So I verified the barcode and I said, yes, that is a grade D barcode. You should, you can definitely see data substitution in your barcode if you're down to a grade D level. OK, so that's a, that's why we have uh, grading. Now, you also have numeric and alpha on your grading. So, for instance, you can say that you have a grade A barcode, just like a school grade, you know, A, B, C's and D's and so forth. But then why do we have numbers? That's going to be a little bit clearer as we uh, continue on. Uh, however, if you have a 3.6 as a numeric grade A, then you know that you're hovering on maybe receiving a grade B barcode. Now grade A's and grade B's are going to scan very well, but a customer may say, look, we're on an unmanned scanning situation, so we require a grade A. And in that case, if you are at a 3.6, you might want to try to just increase that quality a little bit more to be to the uh, maybe 3.8, 3.9, or even 4.0 if that's possible. Uh, I wonder if we can have the next slide, please. Okay. So there are a number of areas that are measured. So I might want to mention that the way that we verify barcode print quality today dates back to 1990. It is the third attempt at getting a 
properly working uh, measurements for print quality. There were two others that preceded the 1990 standard, but this is the one that stuck and it's been around now for 30 years and it works very well. Its whole purpose was to simulate basically what a scanner, uh, how, how a scanner works. And so there are different reflectance parameters that we look at. Uh, our min basically talks about if you, if you measure how black a black bar is, that gives a percentage. You may say, okay, you know, black is supposed to be a total void of light, right? Okay, well, this has, you know, 2% of light reflected back. So if I scan a light beam at that black bar in a barcode, how much comes back into the scanner? And if you get, you know, a thermal transfer printing, you'll get between 2% uh, to about 11 or 12% back. Our max is the background color of your label. So it could be white or it could be green or yellow or, or whatever. And that will affect the, um, the barcode print quality. You have something called a symbol contrast, which is next on the, on the list there. So that's if you actually take the uh, percentage measurement of how uh, white your, um, or how, much, how, how bright your background is minus how dark your print is. So it's basically the, uh, the, the, the light minus the dark gives you a symbol contrast. And the edge contrast that you see below that, that tells you what the, what the uh, contrast is between adjoining elements, between a bar and a space. So if you have, let's say, a print defect or, or some, for some or whatever reason, uh, a label is a little darker in one area than it is in another area, that'll show up in the edge contrast. Modulation comes next, and this, these are in a nice order. Modulation is, is a layman's way of, well, a highly technical way of saying, I guess, uh, what a layman would say, how easy is it to differentiate it or, or, or to get the transition point from a bar to a space and a space to a bar. So how easy is it to see where you're going from your dark elements to your, your light elements in the barcode? And then we go to defects. And uh, this is where you might see some black spots within your spaces in a barcode, or you might see some uh, white dots in the bars of a barcode. That's what defects uh, refer to. And that becomes really important depending upon how, uh, how, how high density your barcodes are. So if you have, let's say small little defects, uh, small little white dots in a barcode, however, you're printing very low density, those defects aren't going to be noticed very much by the scanner and they're not going to really affect your print quality. But those same spots, if you're printing high density would have a huge effect on your print quality because now you can you know, potentially uh, get um, data substitution errors in your barcode. So let's see what else we have here. Um, the one thing that I should stress is that not all formats, not all label layouts that you're printing can be printed at the highest print speed for a printer, okay? So you have to set up your, your print speed and your, uh, your heat temperatures and so on in your printer properly. And that's something that, you know, we can definitely help out with if, if needed. You know, just having a device that tells you how good you are is not necessarily going to fix the problem, right? It's like saying, I want it to be warm and so have a thermometer. Well, it's not necessarily going to be warm. It just tells you what the temperature is. So then those issues have to be fixed. There are a couple of things I want to mention on that. Colored labels, the background of a label has to be at least 50% Re, uh, reflectivity. And if they're darker than that, you're going to see it, uh, a failure. And again, we can assist you if, if that's the issue. But I've had people coming to me and they say, hey, look, you know, look at this uh, label. It's printing perfectly and yet I'm getting a failure. And I see, yep, that's that's a very dark green, you know, deep forest green. That's that's not going to scan. That's going to give you a failure. Try to go with a, with a much lighter green as an example. I had another company ca call me and they said, look, it's look at this barcode, it's printing perfectly. The edges are straight, it's beautiful the way it's printing. And of course I said, well, send me the barcode and I'll have a look at it. And of course they had uh, some coding issues that I found and they were uh, programmatically creating failing barcodes. They thought it was a problem with the barcode. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's continue on uh, before we get into too many weeds here. So basically, how does the barcode scanner determine what grade your 
uh, barcode is. So to be in line with a standard, it makes 10 scans across the height of a barcode. So 10% down the barcode each time. And looking at all of those, uh, that criteria that we had there, the modulation, the edge contrast and so on, uh, it, will, uh, it will grade each one there and uh, then give you a grade for each one and the worst one becomes the grade for that, that scan and so forth. And the average becomes the average for the barcode. That's where you get the numbers too. It'll divide a 3.5 by 10 or whatever and come up with this with a sample. So you can go to the next one, perhaps. Next, uh, okay, it's Casey, back to you. Oops, sorry, took a second to get off of um, yeah. get off here. Sorry about that. Um, thank you, Hogan, for the for the um, for the review of what our ver the other verification uh, technology. So here's a bit of a um, competitive assessment around um, our verifier. So as Hogan reviewed um, the grading system, we have we have there um, the automatic void and in, in reprint. So for example, um, if you are in the middle of a print job, say you have 50 labels going, you're, you're printing 50 labels, um, say you get to label uh, 24 and it does a verification and it um, realizes that a label doesn't pass. So it actually will take the label back in. So with the take up row, um, it will void it out. So we'll put like a grid pattern on it, void it out, and then it'll start the job right where it left off at label 24 and continue through um, label uh label 50. So we'll avoid that for you. So you know not to use that one and reprint it and continue um, the job without any, um, any, uh, any interruptions there. Um, we also have the smart verification. So the no, no computer is uh, required to set that up. So right out of the box, what you have um, is a white card that is a calibration card. And so that calibration card is all you need to set up the verifier. Um, so once you, and you can set that up with the screen um, the colored touchscreen on the left-hand side of the printer, you'll be able to set up um, that verifier there. Next slide, please. And then here's a look at um, another competitive assessment, but with the printer on the hardware side. Um, so our closest competitor to the to the PX940 is actually our Z is actually the ZT600. Um, this is also an industrial printer, high performing printer um, in that high performance uh, category. There, the um, key differentiator there is the verifier, of course. So we our uh, Printronics also offers a printer with an external verifier, so that's an added cost there with the PX940. That cost for the PXN40B includes the, the verifier because it is integrated into the, the hardware. Um, the PXN40 also has a label void, void, voiding, as I mentioned, um, which our Zebra competitors in their industrial uh, portfolio uh, does not actually have that capability. And then we uh, stand out from all of our competitors by having that smart calibration. Um, so no PC is required to set up or calibrate the printer. Everything you need is right in the box as soon as you get it. You're able to set, quickly set it up and begin uh, testing and printing with the PX940. So the PX940 can print up to 14 inches per second. And so this is really ideal, um, again, in those high-performing um, high performing work environments, those workflows that will need those 10,000 labels um, in an, in an eight-hour shift. Next slide, please. So there's, a, again, a head-to-head. -head. Wanted to share just a, a very clear view of a head-to-head, -head, how we stack up against the uh, ZT600. So they actually, with the ZT600, you can attach a verifier externally. Um, but with the PXN40, no need to do that. No need to spend that extra money where, where you can uh, pay one single price and you'll have the verifier integrated into um, the printer there. We do offer um, the uh, software, the oper operational intelligence software there. Uh, we have the smart print capability, and this is a very easy um, to use and easy to set up printer right out of the box. Everything you need is there, and that uh, colored touch screen is there for you uh, to set up and configure the printer. Next slide, please. 
And so media, what media is best uh, for, for this printer? Wanted to highlight one of our product families um, in our media portfolio. We have our XL series. And so um, this is in the, uh, available in four different, uh, four different products there. We have the Duratherm XL, the Duratherm XL Cold Temperature, um, Duratran XL, and then our Duratran Lean. And so the key selling points here um, we have the reduced downtime, so the additional length um, of, of the rolls that allows it to operate longer um, with, the, uh, with less change over there. Um, we have our, our deliveries in fewer boxes with more labels per box, so um, less shipments there. And we're also reducing, reducing um, the carbon footprint uh, with the uh, materials that we're using uh, for the XL series. So this is uh, the XL products are thinner materials that, that really just provide those opportunities for you on the freight saving uh, downtime and reducing the carbon footprint. Next slide, please. And with the PX940, wanted to also mention a very cool feature that we have um, with the PX940. So we actually have a media saving uh, feature that allows the printer to self calibrate on the media. Um, and so you're, you can save an estimated cost savings um, of about $6,000 per printer in media costs because it's able to retract that unused um, media. So we, when you load the media in, you won't waste any of it. Um, it actually will self calibrate, retract back in and then, but then begin um, the print job. So some of the printers on the market, um, actually, as you're setting up and calibrating um, the printer, the media is oftentimes wasted. And so we want to um, lower the cost of ownership for you. So that means not spending as much money um, on the on the media you need for this printer. And so we have that self calibrating uh, capability there. And so again, saving you about $6,000 in media costs uh, per printer. And that is also dependent upon the, um, the usage in, in the work, the, the job, the print jobs, the typical print jobs on uh, the, the printer. Next slide, please. And with that, I will pass it back over to Raul. Thank you so much um, for your time today. If you have any questions, please feel free um, to let us know. Raul. Thanks, Casey. So now that you've learned a little bit about Honeywell's verification offering, you might be asking yourself how Barcodes Group fits into the whole solution. So as a platinum partner of Honeywell, um, our different Barcodes Group entities offer design, deploy, and support services required to get these solutions implemented, maintained, and supported. So from a design and deployment standpoint, we have a professional services team that conduct, can conduct on-site assessments uh, that enable you to design a customized solution based on your specific environment. Uh, we then work with Honeywell to develop and integrate a full verification printing solution to meet your needs and alleviate any pain points you might have. Uh, from a support standpoint, uh, for all deployed hardware, whether it's the printing, mobility, scanning, we can offer our true support services, which include a mix of help desk, configuration, staging, kitting, and other value-added services. We also have a very experienced services staff to deliver troubleshooting and repair services for uh, most of the equipment. And then lastly, we are uh, North America's largest supplier of labels, ribbon, printhead, and other consumables, uh, and can even offer a, a supported managed print services model uh, for your business. Uh, ultimately, our goal is to partner with you and your operation to keep you up and running. But more importantly, we want to uh, maintain uh, your environment with some future-proof technologies like those that you saw today. So um, at this point, we're going to turn it over to questions um, that you might have. I know we're a little bit over, so I want to be respectful of everyone's time. Uh, Casey, you have access, I believe. Any questions there? Yep, and I'm pulling it up now. Um, and I don't see any at this time, but I actually did um, want to just make a note because I have gotten this question before. Um, if that if they buy the PXN40A, which is without the verification, if they can add it, is it if, is the verifier field installable? And it's actually not. So I have gotten that question quite a few times. Um, if you purchase the PXN40A, that's without the verification, 
um, you will not be able to upgrade it to the B. And so my recommendation, um, because we do see the industry moving in this direction towards um, verification and having that capability, recommendation my recommendation would be um, to go ahead and purchase the PX940B that already has an integrated verifier because with the A, it does not come with that. The A is just your standard um, industrial printer. All right. Well, thank you for that, Casey. So again, uh, you know, on behalf of Barcodes Group and Honeywell, I'd like to thank you all for joining our webinar today on how to eliminate chargebacks with barcode verification. If you do have any further questions or would like one of our experts to reach out for a free consultation or even a demo, uh, please feel free to reach out to our, uh, your, preferred, your preferred solution provider here on the screen, uh, or you can feel free to reach out to me directly. Uh, my contact information is there on the screen as well uh, with any questions you might have. So thanks again for joining and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your week. Thank you.